Oh, well, my name's Marion. I was uh, brought up in Long Buckby. I was schooled here in the village and then at the grammar school in Daventry. And uh, when I left, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do, but there was a job going in the office at Long Buckby Shoes Limited. And uh, I applied and I got it. And um, I was very happy there. I didn't realise it when I joined, but I was actually in charge of the switchboard. And um, I was terrified of the telephone, so I was really thrown in at the deep end. Um, but strangely enough, I got the hang of it quite quickly, and I had a wonderful memory for remembering all the telephone numbers. People used to ask me instead of looking it up in the book. Um, but I, used, I was receptionist, I used to answer the bell, I used to do the invoices, I used to go around the factory regularly picking up all the worksheets from all the different departments and then um, I used to enter them into a huge ledger, uh, a very impressive looking ledger called the Telltale. Uh, I don't know where that name came from but it's, I think it's a wonderful name and um, I used to enter everything in and then I would have to chase it up you know around the factory um, from week to week and make sure that they got dispatched. Uh, in the end and if anything didn't get dispatched it came back to me and I would have to go back around and find out what had happened to it. We did the boots for the household cavalry in Long Buckby Shoes Limited and uh, we were very proud of that and uh, it, it was very nice that the men making them took such a pride in doing it and such care. Mind you they took a lot of care over everything because quality was everything in our factory. We had a um, we had a very nice managing director. He, he was my boss. He, was very, he came across as very gruff. His name was Mr. Cunnington, but he was actually very kind-hearted. Um, yes, nice man, but didn't come into the main office very often, so we didn't see much of him. But yet certainly we did do these wonderful boots, and we did some wonderful shoes as well, fashion ones. I remember there was a firm, I think it was in Solihull, called Alice Atherton, and... Um, this lady actually ran this um, place and we made shoes specifically to her designs. I do remember that because I remember having to chase up an order that had gone astray and uh, she was a bit cross um, because she hadn't received it and I went and sorted it all out for her and she actually rang my boss and said that I'd done a good job, which I was very pleased about. <laughs>